Hey, what's up? So when you buy a hard drive, a lot of people want to know how long is it going to last? How many writes can it actually go through before it wears out? I'm going to show you an easy way to do that right now. Hey, what's up? Happy New Year, and I just wanted to kind of go over a quick topic here. It's not going to be anything scientific or anything like that, but when you buy a hard drive, I mean, and I'm actually in the data center field, so I do a lot of SSDs that are made for data centers. But when you buy like an Evo, let's say a Samsung Evo, uh, um, I mean, there's just a whole bunch of a Kingston hard drive and things like that. But let's say you buy like a, a SATA SSD, a SAS SSD. Again, it could be an NVMe drive that's going to be super fast. These are all SSDs, even a spinning drive. I mean, if you might say you're going to buy like an old, you know, five terabyte drive just for storage. How long can it last? How many writes can you actually write on that drive before it's going to wear out completely? That's the, the million dollar question. You know, drives for people at home use are completely different than the data center use, but do you want to get a data center drive? Do you even know how to get a data center drive? I'm going to show you a non-scientific way. It's just a website you can go to, and it's not even a website that really specializes in this, but it's a website that you can go to to check out to read, you know, how many writes can that hard drive handle before it actually wears out. And what that means basically is there's uh, some hard drives have something called trim on them and things like that that can control and actually move the space basically along so that it can last a little bit longer. There's a lot more into it that goes into it, but basically, you know, in a nutshell though, most home users don't want to deal with all that stuff like trim and stuff. They want to really deal with how long is this drive going to last? How many writes can I write to it before it starts wearing out? And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. So number one, I'm going to show you guys a website you can go to to go ahead and find these drives if you want to find them. Super simple. Again, not scientific, so you know it's going to be one of those things where I'll just show you and you could use it. Um, you'll be kind of shocked where, where the information. I found the information where it's best. You know, obviously there's a lot of places you can get the information. Then I'm just going to show you a couple different types of drives and kind of what the differences are between them as far as the reads and writes. And uh, you know, you'll be you'll be shocked basically when you see some of these uh, SSDs that you can buy that are made for data centers that aren't even that more expensive, much more expensive, but have a ton more write cycles. And basically, can do you even need that? Though is the question. And then you know, third, I'm just going to wrap it up at the end. But I'm going to share my screen here in a second to go through everything and uh, just show you kind of all about these different hard drives and basically how long are they going to last before you buy them. I mean, that's the million dollar question. So let's get into it. All right, this is going to surprise you, but the best place to find this data out is a website, and it's actually on the Micro Center website. And I'm going to show you some examples here of all the different drives and how, how much they can actually write to the drives before they actually might fail. So let's go ahead. What we want to do is go up to your menu bar and type in microcenter.com. Um, obviously everyone's you know you may not have one of these near you but this is a good just just a good resource for getting this information and so what you want to do is you know on Micro Center you can scroll down a little bit and it says SSD hard drives here if you click on that it's gonna have you know a list of a whole bunch of SSDs that you can go through in fact I think it's got something like 17 pages so it's got just about every manufacturer in here and things like that now Micro Center does an incredible job of giving this data to you so just as the only you know obviously you can get this stuff anywhere you want to go if you go out to different various Various websites but realistically this is the best way to do it because you know you can get everything just on one website so we'll be able to find out all the rights you know how many how, how much rights can you make to these drives before they're gonna fail right on this website without actually going and searching for all the individual information so the very first thing you want to do here and uh, again I'll start with some drives here but basically you click on a drive and I'll show you you know once you click on it what you need to do so you, you pick the drive that you're, you're thinking about buying and we'll start up here let's say I clicked on this one this is going to be the Samsung 860 QVO. It's not the EVO, but the QVO. It's a little bit cheaper. It's always like $15, $20 cheaper. It's a little bit, maybe a little bit slower, you know, but why would you get this, um, you know, maybe to save a little bit of money? Well, there's a little bit more things in speed, obviously. And the one thing I wanted to show you is, so the way you get this data here is you scroll down and under specs, you know, usually it'll say overview here and it'll has like a review and things. You want to click on the specs link right there, if you can see it here specs and then you want to scroll down and on micro center they have this you know under you know you have to look for it but it's usually right here it's going to say endurance and for this drive obviously the endurance is 360 tbw and that stands for terabyte writes so in a nutshell this endurance of this drive is around 360 terabytes of writes before you're going to maybe see some problems and uh so so that's a good you know starting point you know th that's going to help you look you know at other drives and, and different types of drives to see you know is that enough data are you going to be just are you doing a lot of video or are you just like cruising the web um and this is a lot of data for for the normal person a lot more than it used to be but uh, at the end of the day you know you do want to you know pick a drive that's going to make the most sense for you so let's go look at some other ones now we'll look at a whole bunch of different ones including some data center ones and you'll be shocked on some some of the differences here
All right, so let's go to the next one. Let's go ahead. So this is the EQ, uh, Samsung QVO again. Let's go to the EVO. So basically, though, you, what, when you're comparing these drives, you do want to compare how the size. The other one was one terabyte. This is also one terabyte because the bigger they are, usually the more uh, read, or basically writes they can actually take. So always compare the actual size because the lower the size, the less writes usually. Anyways, this is the EVO. It's what is it like 20 bucks, 30 bucks more. So what are you getting for this? Let's scroll down. Let's click on specs here. And let's look. So that's 600 terabytes, right? So it's almost, you know, it's getting close to double the other one. So obviously, if writes, you know, a lot of writes are important to you, the speeds are very similar. But that's actually what you're paying for there is that write cycle. And you're getting almost double, I mean, maybe 40% more or something like that. And you're going to pay a little bit more for that. And then basically, as we go down the list here, you know, here's some of these uh, inland, these cheaper drives. And you'll be shocked at some of these. Again, this is only 480 gigabytes. So obviously, it's going to be a little bit less uh, on, on, on that kind of stuff. But um, let's just see what these offer. I'm already clicked on specs. So something like this, you know, this is a cheaper drive. So you're going to get 340 terabyte writes, right? So not a lot, maybe the lowest one yet, but it's also going to be, uh, you know, it's only 480 gigabytes, which I told you gets a little bit less than a terabyte on, on the writes. Um, and then, and just to let, just to be perfectly clear, this is how many writes you can write to it, how much data you can write to it before you're going to run into issues. So as we kind of go down the list, so that's $49 for a 500 gig, 480 gig drive. If you look at the next one, which is basically the, the, the next step up from that drive, Inland Professional, same same manufacturer, 960, so basically double the size. We scroll down on this one, again, I already clicked on specs. Again, now we're at 660, so we're actually even more than the Samsung Evo. Um, it's 660 terabyte writes, and uh, so this drive actually, it's one terabyte. It's very comparable to the Samsungs I said earlier, and it's actually more than both of those. So, you know, this is a good drive. Um, you look at the ratings, and you can look at the speeds and stuff, but make your decision based off of cost whatever but if it's important to you this is actually 660 let's go ahead and look at something like uh, an NVMe drive and uh, see if these are any faster so this is a terabyte again so very comparable to the last few we've been looking at 119 bucks so it's very comparable I mean basically it's cheaper than the Evo um, let's go down obviously the re reads and writes are gonna be tremendous this is gonna fall right at the same level 600 terabytes writes so this is very similar to of course you're gonna get the 3100 reads and the uh, 2800 write speed, which is crazy, and the, and the IOPS as well down here, 520, 430. But, um, but the read, you know, the, the actual endurance of the drive is going to be very similar. So let's keep going, you know, really quickly here. And uh, Inland Premium 2 terabyte. Now we're doubling that 1 terabyte to 2 terabyte. So these are going to be more premium drives. Let's see what we get here really quickly. So we're going to scroll down. Obviously, 3200 terabyte writes. 3200. So obviously that's over five times more than the other ones. And again, a petabyte is basically a thousand terabytes. You know, one, you know, a thousand gigabytes is a terabyte. A thousand terabytes is a petabyte. This is basically 3.2 petabytes or 3,200 terabytes of write, but it's substantially more than the last one. So obviously you're not only you're getting double the space at two terabytes, 239, cost is basically roughly double, but you're getting way more writes. You can see there, I mean, five, six times as many on this drive right here. All right, let's keep moving. Just to show you a couple other ones, you guys can do all your own research on this. I'll just show you some more basic drives. So here we are, the Crucial MX500. Again, this is going to be uh, 500 gigabytes, so kind of in the middle, $69. So it's a cheaper drive. I already clicked on specs. This is one of the bottom of the barrel. So basically, 180 terabyte writes. You know, obviously, even the cheapest one from Inland at, at 480 was what 360. This is a basically half of that on the write cycle. So I want to show you some of the lower ones. So obviously, if you're looking at this drive, that might be a determining factor for you. I don't know. I mean, you can look at cost, but always look at that as well. IOPS, speed, everything else. You know, just reliability is important as well. Look at the reviews. But this is a big glaring thing here. 180 terabyte writes. You know, obviously for most users, that's not going to be an issue. Um, but for anyone that's more of a power user, it definitely can be. And then let's go ahead and look at another standard one, like the Western Digital Blue. Very common drive. Again, terabyte, not 500 terabytes, so it's going to be comparable to the Evos and things like that. So let's go down here. I already clicked there. Um, let's look at this one. So this is only 400 terabyte writes. So but again, you're less than the Evos, less than the Inlands, you know, and, and so that's maybe why it's a little bit cheaper actually this one's actually a lot more uh, to tell you the truth so I mean you have to do your own diligence This is 149 so I mean this may not be a good choice either I mean again reliability is a big thing as well and the type of flash and stuff as far as the speed of the drive that's I'm not looking at that I'm looking at endurance so let's go ahead and look at a few more here and and so I work in a data center just to let you everyone know and in a data center we use a lot of Dell servers and, and just to let pe people not, not so much us but people out there use Dell servers and they use Intel drives a lot of times because they're compatible um, with Dell servers 
things, but they also, um, you know, just people in general maybe use super micros or whatever. But long story short, there's going to be data center grade you know, that have a lot more endurance because those the servers are obviously doing a lot more work than the normal user. They're up 24-7, 365, crunching numbers, working, doing graphics, everything else. So let's look at some of these. So, you know, if you go over here, these are actually not that more expensive. There's there's drives from Dell that are exponentially more, $2,000, $3,000 a drive. This one's only $247.53. It's, it's basically a terabyte. It's 960 gigabytes. But it's look for Intel D C dash S forty five ten. And this may even be a, a discontinued, but you can still pick these up all over the place. They may this may be a little bit older model. But 960 gigabytes DC S4510 internal SSD, you know, 243. So it's basically roughly double. Maybe you can pick up another one. So what are you getting for that? Let's go ahead and look at Intel. Um, so on Intel's website, let's go down here. So basically the speeds are very similar, but what you're getting on this data center grade is you're gonna be getting, you know more or less the endurance is going to be a lot higher so let's go down to see where we can find the endurance in here and uh, I mean basically it's right here so endurance rating lifetime rights um, it's gonna say 3.4 petabyte rights so that's 3400 terabytes 3400 so even more than the top one we looked at before so you're you know again if rights important and you don't you don't want your drives to fail too often 3400 terabytes or 3.4 petabyte rights that's a big one. But let's take it a step up, and there's way, way higher than this. I'm just showing you things that you can actually afford and you might consider putting in your system versus one of these cheaper commercial ones. Um, this is a DC3710. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> DCS3710 series. This is an 800 gigabyte, so again, it's a kind of a weird size, but it's basically under a terabyte, but, but a lot more than 500. And they're about 380. I mean, like you can get them. I've seen them anywhere from 299 to 400. I mean, somewhere in that range. Um, you know, things like that. But like, let's go ahead and take a look at this one really quickly. And if you look at this, let's scroll down. This this is the one that was discontinued. This is a little bit older one, but you can still pick these up as well. Um, but if you look down here, the endurance rating, lifetime rights, 16.9 petabytes, which is you know obviously going to be. Uh, six, what is it? 16,900 terabytes. 16,900 terabytes. So we're talking, you know, a lot more. I mean, this could be in a factor of 30 times more than the com commercial drives. And if you look at some of the newer models, I mean, again, let me just state that 16.9 petabytes. That's, so that's going to be 16,900 uh, 16, terabytes. The other ones were only 600 and 300 major difference so basically long story short this isn't even that expensive of a drive but you can go a couple models up from this and look for the intel ssd dc series there's a bunch of new ones coming out and i've seen some up to 48 petabytes 80 petabytes i mean they're, they're huge and it's just exponentially more than you would get on those other ones before mean failures so when you're buying this kind of stuff that's all i wanted to go through today is just show people that what the difference is in these drives it's important to know them for some people that do video editing or move a lot of files back and forth for the majority of us probably doesn't matter at all but um, at the end of the day this is uh, just something to learn if you you know have time to go through it and you can check out a drive before you buy it all right so it's not like a mind-blowing topic or anything like that and it's a really simple way to get the information um, it's not something that you know a lot of people would even think about going to to find the information you can obviously go to individual websites and things like that but this is the easiest way I think anyways let me know what you think um, let me know uh, you know if you think reads and writes are even important or if you think all basically consumer drives now are way more than you need um, you know I mean I don't know who's gonna be basically transmitting 500 terabytes of data you know in any short time but you know some people may you know may, it may matter for them I don't know what they're doing anyway but anyways let me know and then basically if you guys can support my channel click the like button and also subscribe I'm so close to the thousand I definitely you know I make two or three videos a week make uh, technology videos like this I make some some investing and some travel anyways I'm just trying to continue so if you can help me out and I'll talk to you on my next video which should be here shortly in a couple days so take care and uh, happy new year